three fingered gloves. Yes, they are. <laughs> Too. You, you might need some duct tape for that shit. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Skills. Luck. Huh. Yes. Excellent. You find some giant three-fingered gloves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Grab a grab as many as I can get, and then uh, take the box. That's as yeah. many as you can get. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Literally. You've uh, marked down, you have 50 one size fits all slay stack, uh, three fingered rubber gloves. 50. Well, why don't you write down 48? I want a couple pair. <laughs> Freddy, want some big rubber gloves? They're blue. So, Put them over your head and blow them up with your nose. It's really cool. You, you could. You could do a three horn Sam Kennison. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll right. grab a pair. I give I give each one of them a pair. Okay. Uh, and then uh, let's there see. Let's make one. a couple a uh, couple things bandanas. Yeah. Plus, uh, I would like to point out that uh, while I think that Cobra and Medox might survive in the woods with no camping gear and shit, you're pretty sure the other two will die horribly as soon as you get out there. Nah, it won't be that bad. It's just fucking Plus, you can make them carry everything. Plus, not, Freddy, Freddy will pay for it all. We're not going out for days at a time. You might be. You're not sure. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> did we uh, Did we grab camping gear? Have we done that yet? Well, we have no. to go. No. Freddy, right, so Freddy's not a bunch of money yet. Let me get the fuck out of here. Cut to the store. Cut to 250 uh, slee stack bucks of Freddy's later. Cut to Freddy sighing deeply. Cut to Freddy's wall. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You, you, you pay as well. I'm going to pay you something. We'll all chip in. Hey, just stare at you. Chip. You two chip in 50 each. I'll do the other 100. Uh, 150. All right, all right. Fair enough. Sounds good. Sounds good. Right. Oh, we managed to still decrease some of Freddy's money. You now have adequate camping supplies for several days if you need them. Less if you don't. You're moderately assured that the R2 won't immediately drop dead for a bit. Uh, also, when we when we eventually um get to the woods, I pull out my insect with cutting wand. I'll, I'll, get, I'll, get, I'll, I'll get to that as soon as you tell me okay. you're leaving town. He's trying to skip that driving roll. <laughs> I figured you guys were walking all the way there rather than crashing yeah. the car up. Up to you though. It it uh, much it'd be much more convenient to drive part way yeah. and then park. But on the other hand, I know you're driving. The roads are really shit. I like that the driving roll is potentially the most dangerous thing the entire party will face this whole game. It really is. I'm I'm waiting for Freddy to park up in a tree and wonder how he got there. <clears throat> Are you wanting to try driving or just fucking hoof it? If the other two want me to drive, I'll drive. Yeah, you can drive. I, I believe in you. You're fine. They're like, I believe in you. Chosen buckling up and fucking making sure everything's, you know. Uh, let's try this again. Room. Room. All right, Colburn, let's assume crash positions. Ah, there we go. <laughs> so it begins. Right. Freddy backs up into a car, goes forward into another car, backs up into a different car, goes forward. Give me another driving roll to try to uh, escape the... Okay, Are all the vehicles in your world designed to look like bumper cars look? <laughs> <laughs> yes. You should have hey. seen when the PCs had a mansion. That was fucking priceless. They would <laughs> routinely the crash cars. This is back when bumpers could actually bump because they were metal. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I'm doing my usual ten, uh, two mile an hour. Oh, yeah. You're so, a plus 10. No, I'll give you a plus 20 just so I can continue laughing at you. Oh. Hi. 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 God damn it. Right. You guys go through a lovely drive out in the woods. He avoids major axle wrecking potholes and horrible shit like that. You guys get out there and uh, your car is now about, uh, well, assuming that Colbert and Maddox wanted to take you to a good campsite, it'd probably be about a kilometer or two away from the car. 
enough distance to have a nice, good panicked run in the middle of the evening without being too close. So you could still possibly get lost between the campsite and the car. Just right. enough to... Hmm? What kind of role you want? To get lost and shit? Set up a base camp. Oh, give me your uh, woodland survival thing because you're Colburn Maddox, famous woodland survivalist, according to the songs. Well, let me let me help you with that. I've been in the woods a little bit. Oh, he's going to attempt to anti-support you, Colburn. Would you like his help? Uh, well, uh, I'm anti-support you. Would you like Swade's help? This is how they learn, you think. I'm fine. <laughs> Right. He sets you guys up a beautiful campsite. Uh, he's got the tents correctly in and all that. You're about a kilometer and a half, two kilometers away from the vehicle. Uh, there's no obvious trail back to the vehicle so that in the middle of the night, a panicked rush will probably get you lost in these huge woods. Uh, but other than that, it's pretty comfortable. There's water source not far away. Mm -hmm. um, there's some possibly good fishing and stuff. Yeah, beautiful campsite. Colburn uh, has made like a uh, cooking grill for the fish and stuff like that. If you wanted fish out of uh, uh, twigs and stuff. And got... each one of them, a bandana. Yeah, Done. I put, put it around the mouth. Okay. Everybody give me their con, endurance, etc. type role as uh, God knows what's causing this. Uh, I made my pure disease. And if you made your cure disease, don't worry about it for today. Got to buy a quarter. Oh, yeah. Great. How is... Got it. Swade's fucking ready. Um, Swade, go ahead and give me your roll. Uh, and by the way, you guys are the first PCs that are kind of in disguise. Who did it? Humans in disguise. Oh, no problem. Uh, Colburn's Colburn's got a little bit of an upset tummy, but no massive diarrhea. Swade's got a little bit of diarrhea, and the guy who casts cure disease on himself is just fine. So uh, you guys explore around and whatnot in the woods during the daytime. Not a whole hell of a lot of stuff going on. Uh, you do hear some UFO hunters and stuff out there um, messing about. Cut to evening. Um, I actually think it'd be a wise choice for us to rest a little bit before evening. Yeah, no problem. Well, yeah. yeah. Cut to interesting shit that happens at night. <clears throat> you guys are hanging out, minding your own business. Everybody give me a spot hidden roll. Uh, is it night time or like twilight? Night time. The the three moons are up. It is night time. There are three moons, by the way. We, I'm looking at the three moons. Right. Freddy sees it first. He points it out to Swade. You think you're talking about the smallest moon. It's a little faster than the air, too. You say. Anyway, you guys see it looks like a flying saucer, pretty standard flying saucer, except Freddy fucking recognizes. He goes, hey, that's the one from the goddamn Australian embassy that Swade had, or sorry, that Fulton knows. And you see it pull up, and over in the direction that some of the UFO hunters are, you think, because everybody's kind of camped away from each other, uh, there's a lot of wind and stuff on the ground, and a bright light stabs down, and then you see this least that guy go, ah! And he gets sucked up toward it and he disappears and then the light turns off and the spaceship goes I try using the um, telescopy thingy to see if I could make any details out about what's going on there give me a spot hidden roll just tell me which other PCs you've met um, just Jason right you see some guy you don't know with a goatee on uh, next to some girl you don't know who also has a goatee on for some reason. And you see uh, the girl is injecting the sleaze stack guy and the spaceship is hovering way up so people without uh, vision aids couldn't see it. And you see them inject and then he, he goes, 
and you see them take a big anal probe and put it in him. <laughs> oh, give me a, yeah, it's, uh, actually, you've been watching Sleestack for <laughs> this and then they take it out and they check it and they put it down and the guy's like eh, eh, and then they put him into a chamber and you see like little sprayers come out and, go, and then they go and then they they take him a little off off somewhere else and the bright light comes down and you see him go eh, and then the bright light goes out and then the spaceship heads off that direction ah. and it, it's really weird because when it gets further away it kind of goes disappears as it goes Almost like uh, you can only see it when you're up close, and if you get further away, you can't. Weird. So, Freddy, you're from Cyberpunk, right? Not wrong, no. I like the place. Oh, it's 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 a dock wagon. They're just checking the sea like temperature, that's all. Uh, you know what dock wagon is, right? Temperature of that butt? <laughs> <laughs> You, uh, a, you you see you see Col Colbert looking at the lowest moon going. I'm not seeing what you're talking about. I don't know some man and a woman uh, with goatees on uh, probing and you know decontaminating their uh, wait, wait, human? probies. Definitely, yeah, human. definitely. Did uh, Joshua McKay or Doc Bolton have a goatee? Uh, Joshua McKay, Doc Bolton, no. Both right. of them are clean shaven. Got it. Because that spaceship, <gasps> that spaceship is in the Australian embassy. I've seen that. It's. Mm, it's only one. I don't know. So it's no longer UFO. It's a. Just a foe. IFO, identified flying object. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, Doc Fulton is the one who knows more about it. I yeah. helped. Um, I helped disassemble it, but not much else. Do we want to try I'm to find? They went that way. My point. Okay. I bust but, out the map, Logan, and the compass, and all that. And I try to see, like, if I had a flying UFO. Where you know is there a good spot to try to land it, like a clearing way beyond yonder or hilltop, uh, like that? Give me a navigate roll to figure shit out. You know, it, in or is there like a body of water? Because they were talking about portals over bodies of water. Or how hmm. about that? Library research. Oh, I'm sorry. You want to navigate? Well, you all the ten. So. Yeah, you don't have a library here, unfortunately. Oh, no, no, no. But yeah, ten, 10 is a good one. Uh, there we go. What are you doing over there, big guy? I'm trying to see uh, where it gets. Over that way. Well, if you were to follow that that line, it leads um, almost to the toward the town of Drum Chapel. Aha! Uh -huh. It could Drum be somewhere. Chapel. Between you and Drum Chapel, but unless you get another one to triangulate, because they could have kept going past Drum Chapel, they could be God knows where. Because that thing, like I said, super quick. Well, we could pack up camp and start hiking. It is the middle of the night. It That's might why we're done by the time we're done packing up. Yeah, we could. Why don't we just go get our rest, finish camping up, and hike the next day for a day? I mean, at least we've got one point of reference, and then we could try to. Yeah, fair enough. There you go. Okay. No worries. Cut to uh, the next next night. You guys have been walking all day. Uh, Colburn's been out front doing his manly thing. It shows him with his axe. It shows Swade behind with the small pack. It shows Freddie behind with the rest of the equipment. Going, I hate you guys so much. And <laughs> Right. The next night, uh, Let's see, uh, Coburn, give me a luck roll. And also, uh, who's the primary navigator? Coburn's, Coburn. Coburn's navigator? Coburn, yeah. milk man. What? Can, we, can I try to, uh, never mind. If he wanted your help, he would let you, but he goes, nah. 
No problem. Uh, yeah, you're, you've gotten somewhere else. You guys see somebody else get abducted. You don't see the detail you did on the first night. But uh, who would like to make uh, the um, advanced math roll to perfectly triangulate where this thing should land? Because it's from a little bit different angle and uh, stuff. But I, can, I, I have a little bit of advanced math. Excellent. He goes, if we take Y to the square and then move this, and then we'll end up in Pittsburgh. I've got a plus five if you want it. I don't know if you... Oh, uh, sure. Why not? Pittsburgh. Oh, I need to... Hold on. Trade it somewhere. Uh, yeah. Take this. Okay, I'll play the five. It all, all right. comes down to this. This is your big moment in the sun, Freddy. This is when all those math classes pay off. There we go. Oh, nice. holy shit. No problem. And it shows them like go here. It's in, uh, it should be like in a uh, hill outside of the uh, town that you were heading toward. You guys adjust course and, uh, Coburn Medics, Mountain Man can take you there. So, you guys uh, head over there. Uh, I checked my gun, make sure it's loaded. Okay. Not jammed or anything. And yeah, move on. All right. I just you have guys. the hatchet on my side. I'm using my axe. Hmm. So out of all this camping gear, was there a hammer or anything like that? You know, drive the stakes or anything like that? Oh, I'm sure. Perfect. I got my D4 hammer. Hey, one, one tooth at a time and they'll talk. <laughs> True. Cut two. You guys are outside of like a small, kind of hidden, hidden from the town away cave. That when I say small, big enough to get a flying saucer in with some room. So large cave. Um, and hanging out and going, I think this is it, says Freddy. You're approximately uh, 50 meters from the cave entrance looking at it, and you see uh, two people emerge from the cave. Uh, Freddy, give me a sanity roll as you recognize the people. He's got a nice close-up of their faces that he can show you through his uh, slee stack uh, telescope. Yeah, maybe. Doc Fulton and the woman with no name, both of whom are sporting goatees. Stop They're it. outside of the cave and uh, talking and whatnot. Hmm, okay. I uh, made the sanity ball. Bummer, you say. As you know what kind of fighters both of them are, this is not thrilling uh, you. All right, well, I turned to the two of them. That one's Doc. She'll fuck you up. That one's Mildred. She'll skin you alive. And they're both evil? They're bo oh, one's dressed as a doctor, the other's dressed as a nurse. Also, well, I don't know. Evil they, nurse. She has like joke like makeup on also. I don't think it's them, but it might be clones of them. Because they don't have goatees. And these two do. Clones of them. Yes, clones do exist. Of us. I met myself. You you purposely made a clone of yourself? No, they just seem to be around. Ah, okay. So can I take your very own Freddy? Yes, in Cyberpunk. <laughs> hmm. Mm -hmm. So what the... Uh, Wait, so there's does... copies of ourselves? Yes. Why don't we they just... Seem to be... Something, by the way. Hmm? They're arguing. Why don't we chill out, just watch for a little bit, observe. Why don't we uh, kind of conceal ourselves? I stick a twig in Freddy's hair. And, um, I mean, see if they go wander off, if they go take a nap, if they sleep, see what their schedule is. Because obviously they're busy at night. Mildred pulls out something small that's hard to see from here unless you have some sort of seeing device. I thought we were using that. There you go, Freddy. There you go. Ah, skinning knife. She's like going, 
<laughs> Give me a lip reading roll, Freddie. And she goes. Yep. It didn't look good, whatever it was. Mm -hmm. Doc Fulton's like, and then they, they go back. And, in any way or besides the knife? Uh, Doc Fulton seems to uh, uh, have a some sort of golf club on his uh, hip. Uh, and uh, you're guessing some sort of sword or something. Oh, oh that's bad. Okay, go back into the cave. Uh, I turn to Colburn. That's a magic golf club. It has Batman spirit in it. Uh, it has a picture of Batman symbol on it, but I didn't recall it having a soul inside of it. It probably didn't tell you that bit. Oh, I see. Sure, I mean, that makes sense. Right. <laughs> uh, so what do we do? Do we just... Like, Saucer comes out. Hide. Hide. No problem. It seems to fly pretty much straight up, and then it kind of goes... <laughs> Flying Saucer left. Uh, uh, so I... Do you want to check out where they, their base, basically? Yeah, sure. Search their uh, base. See what, uh, see what they're researching. No problem. You guys uh, head into there. Um, when you when you get to the uh, base, everybody, give me a spot hidden roll. Right, uh, Freddie, you notice Colburn's getting ready to step on some sort of tripwire. You're thinking the, that if you say something, it won't be fast enough. There's only I'm one way to by the, I'm by the arm. Give me a grapple roll, Freddie. Uh, grapple. Do, 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 do. Oh, my God. Uh, Catches your ass away from whatever you know from walking into the cave, and he's like, oh. "Apparently, uh, wants to go first. What's I problem? Went down to the tripwire. What is that? I look down. Eventually, they it shows him going there, and you look where there. Eventually, they throw dirt on it and stuff, and you silly string there. <laughs> oh. Nah, I'm fucked by see it. <laughs> Just, just follow my lead. There. My... <laughs> ah, says everybody. Ah. <laughs> um, can I tell what it's attached to? What kind of trap? It's attached to uh, two iron rings, one on each side. Grenades or claymores, probably. It looks like uh, it looks like iron rings pound uh, on attached to stakes that have been pounded deep into the dirt. Ah. Okay. Well, I step over it then. So right. I want to trip it. No problem. You step over it. Your foot goes through whatever the fuck was on the air side and onto some sort of spike thing. Apparently, you were meant to fall into it, but instead, you only stepped on it. Roll a D4 damage on yourself. Jesus, Ow. that hurts. Not as much as getting it on your dick or face or whatever, but yeah, apparently it's a really simple trap. Ow. It just shows the spike barely hit your foot, and you're like, ow, god damn it. You pull your foot back spike out. cover, they don't step on that. It looks as though they uh, made a little pit, put some spikes in it, put a blanket on, tossed some dirt on it, and he has revealed where that is. Uh, I want to make sure that um, I really conceal it. So it doesn't look like Give me a new camouflage roll. Camouflage conceal holdout. Uh, okay. <coughs> he kicks it aside. Fuck you, he says. <laughs> you guys head on in. <laughs> No problem. Inside, you find um, uh, four large 
metal barrels of God knows what, a uh, couple of different cots, a uh, little privacy divider between them, uh, various doctoring type tools, uh, pictures of Slee stack, including like uh, uh, the, uh, here's what's inside of a Slee stack pictures, you know, uh, like medical stuff, you know, like the, this is what Slee stack would look like with no skin, missing part of its ribs, et cetera. Do they have um, a, um, do they have a microscope? You said a bunch of, uh-huh. Ah, great. We'll use chemistry alchemy to see what they've been looking at. If they have any slides. Uh, actually, this would be more of a biology or medicine role. Right. I can take a look at that. You have some chemicals around you can play with, uh, but that'd be different than the microscope stuff. I'm, I'm okay with that. If you want, I can have a look. Yeah, take a look. Okay, and you're going to play with the chemistry stuff? Go ahead and give me a chemistry roll as well. For the biology, you look through, give me a Sandy roll, Freddie. As uh, it looks like they have slides of like uh, this is normal uh, slee stack uh, cells, and this is slee stack st cells being attacked by this weird mushroom stuff. And take one point of damage, you can put it toward gross out or weird mushroom stuff, whatever. Meanwhile, Coburn's discovered the big barrels are full of just like whatever alcohol they had dumped into fill up the big barrels. The troubling thing is it looks as though there's a plastic tube that goes out of one of the giant barrels to one of the beds. And then it's like on a little uh, V thing, like somebody stuck the tube in a V thing so that you can take it out and suck on it if you wanted. Uh -huh. That's one no good. Don't, don't worry. <laughs> the troubling thing is that he knows whose it is. and uh, But that's what's in the big barrels. Uh, and it looks as though uh, he's experimentation has been going on to find out what uh, kills the weird mushroom stuff. And they seem to have figured out um, uh, what's going on with that. Oh, give me evidence analysis role. There's various notes and stuff around the evidence analysis role. Swade's got time to do that if he wants yep. while the air tour. Yeah, I'll just let you get them done. Yep. Sounds good. Ooh. It, it apparently, according to the notes and stuff, they've been uh, probing people to find out uh, the disease spread and stuff and to try to figure out how to deal with it and what the epicenter is. And uh, they've got it uh, narrowed down, but there's like caverns in the area that's narrowed down, but they're double checking the results by going around and apparently abducting and probing more slea stack. Um, and, uh, let's see, uh, TJ, if you want to give me another chemistry role to try to figure out what would be a good thing to kill the mushroom stuff, because they haven't gotten there yet, but they've got enough stuff here as far as results that you might be able to, you think, um, diarrhea, diarrhea will do it. All you got to do is expose your ass and blast it at just the right it's time. Just like a re -roll. And find the source of this, you just pull down your pants, blast the ass. That means you're going to have to eat a lot before you get there. I'll spend one of my points. Oh, but I really like the idea of you blasting ass on whatever the epicenter thing is of this. <laughs> we might do it anyway. He might. Whether intentionally or not. Um, peroxide. Peroxide, uh, a fairly weak dosage would do it as well. Mixed with, you can mix it with water, for example. Uh, they have writing stuff down, right? Sure, lots of lots of uh, uh, modernish looking uh, ballpoint pens, pencils, etc. Right, uh, I just write on a big piece of paper. Wait, 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 wait. It's, I see him reaching for the pen. What's your plan? Because I might be able to help with some of this. I'm just going to leave a giant note on top of their canister saying, add peroxide. Whose notes? All right. I've got skills. Um, let me just throw some of this out there. Here's my plan. What about um, let them come up with the idea? So I've got things. You're thinking they're going the wrong direction right now, TJ. You went the right direction because you're Coburn Medics. 
wilderness outdoor man chemist. But here's the thing is they've got more resources. They've got spaceships. We can still go there and check it out. I've got a couple ideas here. I'm just, I'm, I'm sharing my ideas. I'm not telling you what I'm doing, Logan. So right. I've got some like forgery skills and things like that. Maybe I could make them think they came up with the notes like too drunk triperoxide tomorrow. You know what I mean? Or it's just something like that. Let them think it's their idea. They've got the resources. Let them spend their cash. They've got the spaceship for quick dispersal of this stuff. I mean, right. still got the caverns, but I mean, we should shave our beards so we have goatees. Maybe they'll trust us more. You never know. Do you guys have beards? Do you? No. No, I don't. Fucking beards catch on fire. <laughs> what if he has it? <laughs> All right. Um, I was just gonna leave him a note. Uh, right. Signed, C. M. And for the. Nah, it's too obvious. For, mm, okay. Fair, fair point. They've never met me. Why would they listen to a random note though? Nah, I just say try it. Okay. Um, Wait a Freddy doesn't uh, get random notes left to him in real life? <laughs> are there any um, cameras in here, Logan? Now you look for the camera. Wow, talk about doing it late. Uh, you do find one, but it's not plugged in, and it appears to be broken. It oh. looks as though somebody was trying to rig up a camera in here, fucked it up, Ended up smashing it in rage. Can I try to jury rig it? Uh, I'd need electronic repair to try to make this all better. Hmm. I mean, adding adding plastic uh, and stuff to it is not going to help at this I point. I could try electronic repair first. You could. Hey, yep. I make it smaller. Hmm. Uh, hold on. Let me, let me, let me. Why do we want to fix this as I'm fiddling with it? I'm just going to now. Sorry, what was that? Hey, Freddie, I'm going to give you a couple of cards here. I'm going to play the dissemination. I can't add, oh, okay. Fine. No, let's get some cards in your hand here. Let's let's get you functioning. Mm -hmm. uh, one second. Uh, I, I can't fix it either. Perfect. All right, take those, please. Thank you. Ooh, that's it. Hi. Mm-mm. Nice. Um, you said there's a first aid kit here, or some medical gear. Was there any peroxide? Uh, a little bit. Yeah, that's enough for us. Enough for us. All right. Just in case we need it. Yoink, you say. And um, you said they kind of narrowed down the epicenter? Yes, yes. You, you think that, uh, but they're double checking results, but you, it's a, a court, according to Colburn Maddox. Mountain man, outdoor survival chemist. Um, yes, he, he's got a pretty good idea. There's some caves there. Mm -hmm. Coburn Medics, cave explorer, mountain man, outdoor expert, chemist. All right, so what do we want to wait and let them try and do it, or do we want to do it? It doesn't mean they're going to act on it. In fact, it just might make them more paranoid. That's why I was a little nervous. Yeah, about you want to just. See if we can use the amount we have. Yeah. Now, I think, how far away is the other town? I mean, maybe we should go load up on, how far is Jum Trapple there? Uh, Jum Trapple? What was it? Uh, Jum Trapple. Drum, D-R-U-M, Drum Trapple? Trap oh, Drum yeah. Chapel. Drum Chapel, yeah. yeah that's it. Uh, about half an hour to an hour walking. Why don't we go there? Why don't we get a couple sprayers? Oh, they had those old cool foggers back then. <laughs> Get some of that, get some of the peroxide, get some more water, and why don't we just hoof it out to the caves ourselves? Let's not alert these folks, because we don't know. Maybe they're the ones who are growing the mushrooms trying to cause this, and they're just narrowing it down why are they trying to find out the spread. Mm. It does it help? Or, 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 these fuckers are causing the problem and creating a cure to sell. Oh. Can we they tell what they're done. trying yeah. to do with that by the note slogan? Like, what are they trying to do? It could be, 
either of those things. Okay. I mean, it is Mildred. Yeah, but Mildred doesn't care about money. Doc's not really bothered either way. Version you know. Yeah, the version I know. An unjam gun or no? Should I throw that out? Three guys, uh, one I'll, gun. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. I'll do <laughs> this test. Yeah. Now, do they have any other supplies here? Are there any um, food, food water, water, say booby trapped stuff? Uh, food, water, um, there, there, there's a can of nuts. Gunderson's unshelled nuts. Nut. So good. All right. <clears throat> All right, so do we remember that? Like, not really. Okay. I think we should try not to leave too big of a trail. I mean, like, oh, missing yeah. some side or something like that, no big deal. We should probably try to cover up that trap. Let's just not yeah. tip our hand yet. We should probably get All out right, of here. So Let's get rid of the note then and put everything back how it was and leave. Well, somebody else will need to try their conceal camouflage thing because obviously uh, uh, Freddie has uh, very different ideas on what is Pretty deep at it. Are you good at it there, uh, Colburn? No, didn't have much training in that. I did. Apparently so. All right, no problem. Swade sets it up. It looks as good, maybe better than it did before. Cool. Yeah, so we'll take the note away then. Just ready and... forget it there, stepping it again. God damn it. Um, yeah, okay. I'll follow the others. You guys cover cover your tracks and get the fuck out and head over to the uh, town, as you'd mentioned. Uh, you've left no not, no evidence you were there except for the missing peroxide. Mm -hmm. It's a small bottle that comes with a first aid kit. Sure, nobody will know this. No, who could possibly know? It shows Doc Fulton <laughs> looking at uh, Mildred with a goatee. Did you drink my peroxide? She's <laughs> like, oh. Um, <laughs> You guys head over to town. Everything is closed, but you do find a uh, uh, hotel you can stay at. It's called the uh, um, uh, Orange Roof Inn. <sighs> Don't How much is it? All right. Uh, it's for all three of you. It will be I, I a guess. mirror. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Who would you like to make sleep outside? Oh, uh, no, it's fine. Uh, for total, uh, would you like breakfast included? No. 75. Okay. But how much would breakfast? 80. Fuck it, breakfast. Right. They give you, a, it says continental, and it shows a guy like looking miserable holding a couple of fucking donuts on a plate. Like, hmm? Right, you spend yet more money, Freddy. They give you a receipt. You guys trips over to your room. It looks a lot like the other hotel. In fact, you think that uh, the, the whoever's filming this is using the same set. Shows you go by a boarded up window into your room. Um, Question for you, Freddy. Yes. So what was our actual, what were we actually sent out here to do to find out what was going on? Well, or, the whoever you know, was. Our client just wanted the uh, answers. Confirmation he was probed. Yes, he was probed by a UFO. So we have confirmed that. Uh, we don't want to tell him that. No, you tell your employer. Young said. Your employer. You tell your employer. It's up to him. Well, to we'll tell our employer, but we need to tell the client something else. We don't have to talk to the client. That's your employer's job. Is it? Well, you're the 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 client hired your employer, and your employer hired us. I'm okay with that. <laughs> we sent here to cure the great mushroom plague of, you know. Well, it might spread to the rest of the country if we don't fix it. Oh, and I thought your people like to come here and just tickle everything and then leave. No, 
Well, I, I, would have to, I, I, uh, I thought we were mainly just here to try to find this Trevor Knight guy. Was, was dead. I came for the food and stayed for the diarrhea. Mm. <clears throat> I mean, if you want to leave the mushrooms alone. Trevor Knight wasn't the guy in the uh, in the hotel room. That was one of the three missing hikers, right? No, Kevin Knight's the one that hired them. All right, yeah, got talking, a... Kevin Knight was the bird watcher. Yeah. Right, Kevin Knight got a play immediately, which is a near drum tackle. Oh, he was abducted and let go. So what what the hell did they want us to do? Let me roll. Hey TJ, take um, a look at this. You might like this one. And then uh, you could discard it if you don't want it. Uh, what is that? Nope, 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 nope. Um, you don't want go you, ahead and discard it. What about the armored bear? Uh, mm -hmm. that, what? <laughs> no. You sure? I'm positive. I'm okay. All right. Do you want an armor piercer, Freddy? Um, that would really help with the armored bear. Uh, no, I'm okay. <laughs> you say that now, but you know. <laughs> Just Freddy. I run into an armored bear that confirms all my characters' beliefs. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so, did you get us a room or not, Freddy? Yeah. I wonder if they got different channels here. Let's go check it out. That's what's up. They rack up uh, yet more cost to Freddy uh, watching uh, Sleaze Tag Porn. <laughs> I mean, I'm not paying for that. So. Um, <laughs> no, it's getting charged to the detective agency who uh, the, may then charge you. Like the other room, which had the bill hasn't come due because you never really here's the checked. Thing I remember, it was necessary research. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was. We, remotes. we had too many fingers. The buttons were too big. <laughs> <laughs> too small, you mean. Um... Right. Uh, right. Did we swing by and get some more chemicals? Uh, no, ahead. everything's closed right now. Oh, fuck. All right. So wait again until the morning? Yeah. No problem. You guys wait. Morning rolls around. Everything looks fine. Cool. Mm hmm You're ready to rock and roll? Let's go to the store. Uh, you guys wait, head over to the store? We got breakfast. Right. Yeah. What about your free breakfast? Or yeah, I'll we'll have a breakfast. You guys ignore the breakfast, Freddie. Well, I'll, I'll have a breakfast. Yeah. It shows me angrily eating a stale donut. I paid for it. I'm eating it. Oh, everybody gave me. Uh, no, it's continental breakfast. That means stale uh, donuts and uh, uh, juice made from something. Uh, everybody give me a con slash endurance roll for a brand new day unless you can pull off your uh, cure disease nope. spell again. There's a lot of Fuck yes, I'm done. Oh, yeah, you you are now uh, A-OK. -okay. All right, I'll play a re-roll. No more rolls for TJ on that. Even if I ask him for it, he goes, no, I made a crit. Ha, ha, ha. I really want to get sick again. But it's good for you. Look, if, if we fail the con roll, but make the cure disease, does that work? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll I'm, do that instead. Okay. My Tom Tom, one of my Sarlacc Toms. Nom, nom, nom. Right. Give me a new con roll. Uh, this should be fun. Shows him sitting there at breakfast eating it. Nom, 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 nom. Blah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Did you fucking fail? Man, all right. All... You projectile vomits all over the breakfast area. People flee in terror. All right. We ready to go now? Hold on. Um... They threatened the bill to your room. Oh, burn. Carry me. I attempt to carry him. <laughs> Give me a strength roll. <laughs> this seems to make him inordinate. All right. Right, he carries, he carries him out. Guy comes up to Freddie and goes, "We're gonna bill your room for the cleanup, sir." Sorry, I'm out of money. <laughs> Bye. I leave. 
they just watch as you go, and you know Come that thing will happen. You had a burp. You, you Come on. It's <laughs> <laughs> first day to burp the baby. Give me a uh, give me uh, take a check in uh, or no, I mean take a card there, uh, TJ. No problem. He carries sweet out perfect him. Um, yeah, Freddie, uh, you. Oh you, shit! Uh, no, those bubbles are staying in forever. God nope. damn. Wrong end, wrong way, wrong way. <laughs> yeah, you guys are so disgusting. It's great. Okay, so uh, you go out to the store. Uh, who would like to make the primary luck roll? Everybody else can support if they wish. This is uh, I can do it. How much peroxide can we get hold of? Yeah, I'll, I'll do it primary. Keep in mind, the better you make your luck roll, the more money it will cost you because that means there's more to buy. Uh, plus the sprayers and all that. Give you more options. You guys can help if you want. Yeah, I'll help. Sure. Oh. What are we helping with? A supporter luck roll. Blah, I'm really <laughs> sick. <laughs> I need my it's a prestige team. mod, right? No. Uh, it is a prestige mod. It's this? not. It's, it's, yeah. No, this one's not prestige mod. Oh, Yesterday prestige. was a prestige okay. mod. Yeah, okay. This is just normal days yeah, for yeah. you. <laughs> all right. This is a Wednesday. Where in the fuck did that go? All right, what are you what are you trying to do over there? Uh me? I'm waiting for a luck roll if you want to help. Or not, I don't mind. Luck with what? Wait, you can help with luck? Yep. In this case, yes. Ooh. There it is. And just a normal one. Okay. Uh right, you find you find about uh yep. Yep. fifty uh uh sleeve stack dollars worth of stuff plus sprayers and shit, and they're called twenty, so seventy sleeve stack dollars later. <laughs> Freddy groaning. You need some more money, Freddy? <laughs> no, he's fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. He's fine. It's so awesome. <laughs> we need to find some corpses so I can start looting them. Mm -hmm. Well, you could have made some, but you guys chose not to uh, kill the shit out of uh, uh, people so far. I'm not saying that you're always going to not kill people, but, you know. <clears throat> No, we could just wait for the UFO to drop somebody off, and when they're all disoriented, we could just sit around with our tiny hammers and beat them in the head and eat their brains. In faces of death, remember that? There you go. Okay, so we have everything. Um, do, we need, do we need anything else? I don't know. What do you want? Nothing beat the one, Ralph, where they dropped the guy in the parachute and he fucking landed way off course in an alligator farm. <laughs> okay, so uh, what are you guys going to do? Uh, I, I make the chemicals and get them ready. Give me a chemistry roll of plus 30. You add water to peroxide and put it into things. This is not difficult. Ooh. Right. You add the exact amount that you think it's going to need. It uses a little more peroxide than you're happy with, but by God, you think this should do uh, horrible things to... If you, uh, with your crit, you're thinking, if we can get this on the source of the problem... We, we're going to fucking take it out. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Do we need to drive that or can we walk? Uh, you could try driving the cart right there. Did the store also have mm -hmm. anything for Slee Stack children? Like the little toy aisle? Sure. Man, I, really know. I want water balloons. Oh, all right. Uh, it'll be definitely harder to uh, get the stuff into there, uh, but possible. Uh, be, no problem. Uh, you buy, uh, 
They won their three uh, sleeve stack dollars for uh, jumbos and five water balloons. For you pay for that. I'll pay for this. Okay. But it's more fun if you make Freddy pay for it. I got it. Okay. All right. Uh, how many water balloons do I have in that pack? Uh, pretty much an infinite supply, but you can only fill like uh, say uh, ten or twenty before you know you're you're out of stuff because you couldn't find as much uh, peroxide as you wanted. So. Uh, the problem is, is that of course carrying water balloons, the only the only good way to carry them is. Is there a little side satchel I can buy here? Uh, you can buy a cooler that will keep from crushing them and causing them to rupture. Don't they have those little slings you could put? You know, like the, the wind. It, could, it could end up uh, uh, like if pressure gets us uh, on them and stuff. Like if you fall right, onto them. Right. Uh, cooler will cost you eight uh, slee stack dollars for a nice big one that you can fit, say, 12 uh, big ass water balloons into. What about a slee stack baseball bat? Plastic uh, wiffle no. bat for the kids? No. Oh. oh, an actual baseball bat. A good uh, aluminum one or a wood one? I yeah. would. You gotta get that resounding crack. Uh, <laughs> For for uh, uh, twenty five slee stack bucks, you can get uh, one that you would trust as a weapon not to break immediately. There we go. Or for three, you can buy a plastic weapon. <laughs> uh, how many sprayers did we buy? Uh, one for each of you. Uh, super soaker types. Oh, nice. All right. I'll, I'll take one of those. Yep. I don't want no balloons or baseball bats. Do you want you guys... baseball bats wrapped in balloons? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I like baseball bats wrapped in balloons. That's that's a fucking image. <laughs> uh, okay, you guys have a bunch of shit. It just shows the people at the register watching you leave. Fucking humans. <laughs> they think it's some sort of weird kids party that you're getting ready for. Maybe you're the entertainment. As you guys exit store, it shows you passing by a ballet studio and the lock goes. Anyway. <laughs> so, uh, right. Oh, good news on the cooler. It's the kind that has like the long handle, so you can pull it after you like luggage, or you can grab my handle and lug it around. All right, handle. No, no we worries. didn't come here, Freddie. We walked here, so we got to walk out of here. Unless you want to borrow a car. It's a long ass walk. You might reach there by nightfall. Just in time to be dramatic. Mm -hmm. So our car is far away. Uh, cool. The other town. Remember the other? You There's two different towns. Yeah. The woods are in between. Mm. And you've been walking up and back through the woods and getting bitten by God knows what. And getting sick. Although enough sickness seems to have hardened up. Colburn Maddox, woodsman. All right, so we need car to fall. Oh, that's fine. A hey, Freddy. Owner. Freddy, I got a question for you once we get out of town here. Let's get in the woods. Sure. Um, that sounds like a leading thing there. All right, you guys are back in the woods with First Colbert meeting of the bear club. Do you still carry that bow with you? Can I, can I give that a try? You got a gun. Unless you want to give me the gun, you use the bow. But I've seen what you do with that bow. A lot of nothing. Oh, uh, so I uh, hand him the case. It's in there. Uh, oh, it gives you the big awkward case. It's all slick with sweat on one side, and um, he's got like backpack straps rigged right to it. Before you fire it, you need to say chocolate. Otherwise, it won't work. Chocolate. <laughs> Hold on, let me. S O K O V A T. But the S is S A. I give him back his case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking bow back. I don't care. <laughs> right. He gives you back your sweaty case. You know how fucking uncomfortable and inconvenient this bow case is? Even the bow's inconvenient because a regular bow has a string. You can fucking wear it awkwardly on your back. But this, no fucking string. Yeah, it's like position of my back or something. Yeah, I know it's a face. It's a great. You guys have Thank you. You guys walk your asses, 
lugging all these water balloons filled with peroxide and we're gonna have a party in the woods <laughs> apparently that's what i say to everybody that we pass no problem i yeah you guys you guys pass some guy reeking of alcohol who's staggering around like he's having problems walking because he's trying to keep his ass and cheeks as far apart as possible <laughs> and uh I need a navigation roll from Coburn Maddox or whoever's navigating. I'm going to start my brain. For you. I got to work on this. Yes. I guess. This go. is to actually find the right cave as opposed to being lost in the woods as come nightfall. I too will support. <laughs> will attempt to fail. Okay. Go for They're it. both pointing different directions, but Coburn Maddox knows how to get lost. I believe that they know where we're going. Excellent. He just puts the difference. <laughs> Got two lost in the woods. <laughs> but no bonuses for maps and stuff. This maps and stuff is what allows you to roll. Uh, okay. You guys wait a, minute, are... wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I Why? use my compass. What? Hmm? And I spend a point. And no, no, no. Wait a minute. That's not right. Oh, you're spending a hero point on this. It's this way. <laughs> he points it completely different. Right. It shows you guys squatting wait, in the bug. Wait, wait, wait. No, I've got a uh, something here. Assistant reroll. It is Ooh. this way, I said. Um, Try again, Coburn Maddox, as he's playing an assistant reroll on you. Back to town we go. <laughs> uh, do, do we want a planet? What? For this. Ava planet. It allows everyone to discard as many cards as they want and refill. Do we want to do that for this? Um, sure. Yeah, sure. Okay. So discard where we don't want. But you can, you've still got that. Uh, oh, well, you, he's played the uh, supporter reroll on you, so you can still try to reroll that. But It did. It did. Oh, never mind. So I toss those three cards out. Okay, hold on. Um, oh, they killed me. Draw three more. Yep. No, you draw back up to four when. Uh, I kept one. Oh, okay. Woohoo! I got a reroll. Woohoo! The adventure can continue. First, I'm going to play this plus 10 to my skill. Uh, yeah. Nice. You want anybody to try are you before you roll? Uh, can I play this plus five as well? No. Okay. Uh, and then uh, re-roll. Do you want anybody to support you before you roll? Or are you telling them to uh, stop talking to you? No, I think you that's what fucked me up in the first place. Let me just <laughs> let me do this on my own, guys. I like it when two people try to support somebody and both of them fumble. That's bad. Oh, yeah, he was right. Okay. It looks as though you... Oh, uh, I want to play... Training time real quick. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I've got something. Linguist, linguist as well. Finally, get my Cantonese up a little bit. Nice. All right. Cut two. You guys have arrived because Coburn Maddox knows the way with map, compass, and numerous tries to get to the caves. You guys are at the opening of a big, dark cave and realizing you need light. Fortunately, you do have some glow sticks in the massive uh, I pull out a torch. Shows them with a flaming torch. You guys have glow sticks. No, right? no, a real, no, a real torch. Oh. I told you, he's got a very deep prison pocket. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> no, <laughs> but, not that kind of British torch. British oh, torch, right. Yeah. Um, right, he has a flashlight uh, glows because uh, Coburn Maddox uh, didn't trifle around with money and got all the right camping supplies. You guys have got indestructible glow sticks and stuff. You notice that the batteries are kind of going in and out on the uh, uh, flashlight that he's got, almost as though it's kind of having some weird problems and stuff. The glow sticks are going strong. Hey, Freddie. Yeah. So uh, Joshua McKay warned me that to use technology outside of what is currently present in the area you're in, 
it could cause issues. However, this is supposed to be the 80s, so flashlights should work. But that's I look, what I'm hoping. I look at the flashlight. Is it fucking crazy? Yeah. No? All right. Fair enough. 